Hey, travel buddies, set aside a full day for Rome's epic Colosseum trail, the storied Roman Forum, Regal Palatine Hill, and the Colosseum itself. We vlogged in a group tour with a twist. Our guide was an archaeologist. The Roman Forum was the central hub of ancient Rome, a lively gathering spot for shopping, legal matters, religious ceremonies, and political discussions. Right in the heart of the city. Let's step back in time and witness the daily life of a Roman citizen at Roman Forum. As dawn breaks, Gaius, a Roman potter, heads to the Forum. First, he seeks tranquility at the Temple of Peace, whispering, "May this day bring prosperity," amidst others' prayers. At the medieval portico, he sets up his pottery stall, sharing bread with a fellow merchant who praises, "Your work captures Rome itself." Beside the revered temple of Antoninus and Faustina, Gaius, with a curious tilt of his head, voiced the concern echoing in the hearts of many. Um, what about the grain prices from Egypt? His question, simple yet profound, sparked an animated discussion among the gathered citizens, blending the sacred ambience with the pulse of daily Roman life. At the Temple of Romulus, he offers a clay figurine, hoping for divine favor. While children's laughter fills the air, under the arc of Titus, Gaius joins a communal meal, toasting to Rome's eternal glory as stories of triumph circulate. Evening finds him on the Via Sacra. The day's experiences, waving through his conversations with friends, reflecting on life's ebb and flow in the heart of Rome. Perched above the Roman Forum, the Palatine Hill offers a breathtaking panoramic view of Rome's ancient heart, where layers of history unfold amidst the ruins of imperial palaces. And lush gardens. The Colosseum stands adjacent to the Roman Forum and Palatine Hill. Forming a historic trio at the heart of Rome. Look, in the shadowed underbelly of the Colosseum, before dawn's first light graces Rome, Cassius, a gladiator marked by courage and skill, awakens. Today's battle is not merely for the spectators' thrill. But for his freedom and the esteemed status of Roman citizenship, a reward for those who surpass the sands of the arena. Amidst the murmurs of fellow gladiators and the restless shifting of beasts, his mentor, a freed gladiator whose scars spoke of survival and valor, offers last-minute counsel: Fight. Not just for victory, Cassius, but for your life beyond these walls. Remember, it's your heart and honor that will guide your hand. He says, his voice is a beacon in the dim corridors. As Cassius steps into the arena, the burgeoning light of day clashes with the torch's glow, 
and the roar of the gathering crowd floods the vast amphitheater. Across the sands, his opponent stands, a gatekeeper to Cassius's future. Their battle, fierce and calculated, ends with Cassius standing victorious. His opponent is defeated. All eyes then turn to the emperor's box, the Povina, where the emperor himself presides over the games from his central vantage point on the lowest tier, a position that underscores his divine authority over life, death, and the fates of the gladiators. The crowd shouts, "Mercy! Mercy!" The emperor slowly. Raises his thumb, and the crowd then erupts. With a solemn nod, the emperor rises, silencing the crowd. Cassius, Rome, Rome honors, honors your, bravery your bravery and grants you the freedom and the rights of a of Roman, Roman citizen, citizen. He declares, his voice resonating with the weight of destiny. The second tier's cheers greet the emperor's announcement. Cassius, you are Rome reborn! Echoes a voice, mirroring the crowd's shared aspirations. Now free, Cassius reflects on his transformation from slave to citizen, honored by the emperor and Rome. Stepping out of the Colosseum, he embraces his new life, his story of bravery, and honor a permanent mark on Rome's history. Finally, I'm here at the Colosseum, built 2,000 years ago. It serves as a masterful architectural model for present times, and it still surpasses contemporary designs with one of its features. Only two tiers of the Colosseum remain, with the upper levels and the standing area gone. Yet the engineering feats of ancient Romans still challenge modern capabilities. The Roman concrete. It was made from lime mortar and a volcanic rock like tuff and pumice is lighter and more durable than today's standard, surviving centuries of natural and human threats. The Colosseum's exterior, crafted from Travertine limestone, quarried from Tivoli and secured with iron clamps stands as a testament to its timeless durability and aesthetic appeal. Standing here, you can almost sense the grandeur of the Colosseum as it once was, and you might even imagine the intense glamour of gladiators locked in fierce battle. Leaving Rome, we're heading next to Florence. I will see you there.